Hello everyone, Manny Kizzo here, welcome back to another Blockbench tutorial. In today's Blockbench tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make custom hats in vanilla Minecraft. Such as, Hello Kitty right here. Yep, Hello Kitty is a hat. I can show you and prove it to you. Boom. There you are. Now you might be wondering, how is this possible in vanilla Minecraft now? It's only been possible in using Optifine or mods such as CIT Resown. Well, in versions 1.21.5 and later, they have changed a new thing using components. Now, I'm not going to get into too much detail of components because I don't even know how they work personally. But without further ado, I'm going to show you how to get into it and how to do it and how to use it. So let's go and start with the tutorial by going to my desktop. Now that we're on our desktop, you can see that we have our custom item template folder, of course, like every other tutorial. This is completely free and in the description of the and the description of the video and it comes with everything that you're going to need such as all the folders a pack icon and the pack.mc meta file i strongly recommend that you do get this template folder it makes it so much easier for you and again it is completely free of charge it works on any computer whether it is mac os or windows so it's up to you and you can also customize everything if you'd like maybe you want the description to change something or maybe you want this for a later version of Minecraft, which you can change with the pack format. Or you can upload a new pack PNG by just putting up an image by just renaming it pack.png. And there you go. But without further ado, let's actually show and make a model. So that's what we're going to do first. So we're going to open up Blockbench. Let's make a model. So of course, let's, the first thing we're going to do is open Java block slash item, create new model. And we are going to call this tux underscore hat you can name it whatever you want just remember no special characters no spaces or anything like that make it easy on yourself just by making it all lowercase and if you do need a space just use an underscore i'm gonna make this inspired by tux bodai who just came back from a three-year coma quotes by him not me i was in my three-year coma so i'm gonna make a hat for him or based around him so I'm going to call this a tux hat confirm. And there we go. I have my reference image right there. And for hats, I like to make a template for the head model of Minecraft players. So we're just going to make a eight by eight by eight cube. And we're going to put it in the center of our workspace, which I could just drag right here. Now, before I start anything, just to let you know, I am a little bit under the weather right now. So that is why I sound a little bit weird and might be coughing in some of the recording. Another thing we're going to want to do is I like to organize my thing. So I'm going to make a new folder and I'm just going to lock the uh, actual head so we don't use it and north is the one where the face is so north is right here so let's actually start with the model so you can model whatever you like i'm gonna do something inspired by tux bodai because he inspired me to make block bench tutorial videos and do block bench in general so i appreciate him and his hard work oh this is a nine by nine that's why it looks so weird there we go make sure it's an eight by eight not a nine by nine but he is officially back as apparently as he said and i'm just going to model something based around him for you know this is for him coming back so i'm going to show you some tricks also if you want to you know maybe do something like this what you can do you hold the alt key and boom it stretches from the side that you are on now if you do the shift alt and then drag you can do this which i'm going to do to make a three by three nice and easily that's going to be like the gem of his head right there all right i'm not going to waste your time making you watch me make this model so we're just going to do a little modeling montage and i think that is all with the model it's a very simple model nothing too crazy we can get rid of the temporary blocks there we go and get rid of this temporary folder as well let's actually add some texture onto it so what we're going to do is do command a if you are using mac os but control a if you are using windows and create texture just click that button right there and name it whatever you like i like to name it the same thing as the model so tux underscore hat there you go and now it gives us a nice uv map on how to do this correctly we're gonna i'm gonna texture this real quick so yeah let's go into a little quick texturing montage there we go it's fully textured very simple texture very simple model nothing too crazy if you want to do something crazy go for it do whatever you like for it this is your model and this is your texture pack but now let's go to the display tab right here in the corner now you don't have to really do anything crazy you i like to use a preset sometimes you know preset item make it something simple copy paste now on the thingy 
just do my block resize it a little bit bigger something so I know that it's in my hand now in the head now to increase the size to the right size you can see that is very small put that back now the scale function is usually 1.6 1.6 1.6 and then you just got to drag it up a little bit. That's it. Drag it up how much you want to go. I'm going to leave it right here at six. Now, if you want to like, you know, resize it like this, you can do whatever you want. Again, this is your texture pack, not mine. Now let's go to the ground when it's like, you know, been thrown something simple frame. I'm not going to do anything for that in the item frame. I like to use a block reset a lot. I like how Tux Boat is just watching as this is happening in front of him. Now, if you want to increase something of the size in every direction, all you got to do is just hold down shift and drag from one of the directions and boom there you are simple as that drag it in the middle put it in the middle of the block and there we go now we are pretty much done with everything texturing modeling and the display features so now what well what i like to do now is click file save project as and then i like to save my project because you don't know what's ever going to happen to it you it could something could very much go wrong so I like to put it in the folder that I'm currently working on. So I'm going to put it in the custom template folder right here and just save it right there. Now let's actually start saving the model and the texture. So first we're going to save the texture. So to save the texture, just go to your texture right here and click the little save icon or the floppy disk, whatever you want to call it and just click it. And there you go. Go to your template folder, assets, Minecraft, textures, items, carved pumpkin right there. That is how it should be checked, um, structured. So just like that, save, boom. And now to save the actual model, file, export, export block, item, model, go to the template folder, assets, Minecraft, models, item, car pumpkin, save into that folder. And we can just close out a block bench. We don't need it anymore. And let's open up our template folder one more time. Go to assets, Minecraft. Now I'm going to tell you something real quick. Reason why I highly suggest that you do download this texture pack template is because the models includes the carved pumpkin model, because for some reason, when you load it in and the carved pumpkin model is not there, it doesn't work. So I don't know why that is. And if there is a way around it, please let me know. And I'll try to include it into our next video. And also this texture pack also does include the no texture, uh, no pumpkin blur. So that means you can just wear a pumpkin and you don't get that um, ugly peripheral when you put it on. So we have the models included right here in that car pumpkin. You can see everything is there. Car pumpkin, tux hat, yada, yada, yada. And let's, let's see if our texture is here. We go to textures, item, car pumpkin. Boom, there you go, there's our texture, very simple texture. But now, how do we put this and give this functionality to make it wearable on the head? Well, that's where we go into GitHub. Now, I did not make this page or anything like that. I just made this somewhat simple item generator JSON file, I guess. I don't know what to call it. I didn't make this website, I know that for sure. Um, credit to this guy right here, Missy Doe. This exact setup is gonna be linked in the description below. All you gotta do is just to change a couple things so I'm gonna show you how to do that. To change those things, you're gonna go into the custom name right here, which is in cases when custom names, just select everything, including like delete everything in that text box. So this is what is gonna be in the anvil. So if I rename a car pumpkin to tux hat in the anvil, it has to give me that model. But how do we tell the game which model to pick? So that's where you go into model, and model again minecraft item slash car pumpkin insert model name so i'm gonna select this including the quotations delete that and we're gonna go to our file models item car pumpkin right here it has to be the exact same name as the model that you just exported from blockbench just without the json file so we're gonna do tux underscore hat and there we go that is pretty much it all we got to do is click this download button right here in the corner and boom now it's downloaded but it might go somewhere um depending on how you have your download set up it could be in your downloads folder which i'm pretty sure mine is in here there we go draft.json you can see it is all in here so what we're going to do now we're going to go back into our template folder go into the minecraft folder items and we're going to drag what we just downloaded into the items folder right there now rename it to carved underscore pumpkin. Make sure the .json file is there so that the game can read it properly. And if you want to look at this, you can, it's up to you. 
but that is pretty much it so we can close out of our template folder go back into minecraft go into options resource packs open pack folder minimize minecraft real quick and just move our custom item template folder right in there close out of that folder going back into minecraft look for what we just made right here custom item folder now i'm going to disable all my texture packs just to make sure this is working i only have fabric and default click done okay you can see that everything looks semi-normal get a carved pumpkin go to our anvil rename it to tux hat there's our item you can see it's already made in the game but what if we wear it Ooh, there it is now you see the bow tie is a little bit weird but that's because i didn't model this right but it kind of worked you have a custom hat in the game now you can do this with whatever you can make a, a fancy top hat maybe give yourself a plushie like how that hello kitty was at the beginning this can go wherever you want it to go that's pretty much it for today's video i know i haven't made any block finish tutorials in recent times but i am trying to get back into my usual upload schedule after being out of school and being out of a job so please like subscribe share do whatever you want and if you have any questions please ask me in the comments and i'll try to respond to you and if you want more help try joining my discord server or the block bench discord server one or the other you can find help there as well now of course if you are using mac os it might be a little bit different as i am using mac os i'm recommending using this app which is completely free on the app store um again yeah completely free i can make text documents on it it's not sponsored i'm not gonna say their company name because i don't know where it's from but just know it is free and i use it well there you go and also thanks for Tux Bodai for inspiring me to make this video again after a couple of months of not making a Blackfish tutorial and for a couple of years for him not uploading because he was the one that got me into this anyways. But yeah, this is the end of the video. If you have any questions again, please let me know and subscribe, like, do whatever you want. All right, goodbye.